you know, I don't know what got into Nas and 21 Savage's head to drop um, a single on a random Tuesday night at 7 p.m., but they decided they wanted to drop a single on a random night or on a Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Um, so I did not expect to be reacting to this today, but uh, Nas and 21 Savage, a duo that I was sitting there thinking that would actually be really cool, mostly because they had two, both had some of my favorite music that dropped this month, um, have actually come together and dropped the song on a random Tuesday night for some reason, but I'm excited to hear it. Um, I don't really, I wonder how recently this was recorded because for obvious reasons, you'd wonder why this didn't make it on King's Disease 3. Um, but I mean, Nas maybe was kind of, maybe he was going through this mentality of, I want to do something, uh, like I want to make the whole album solo and then maybe drop this song afterwards. But, um, I don't know, to me, it's just weird to not drop it on a Friday, to drop it on a Tuesday, not even at like midnight, and then just kind of, I don't know. I wonder, I wonder how good this is because I mean, it sounds like a great collab. It sounds like a fantastic collab, but there's a side of it's like, I wonder if this is just really mediocre and they just wanted to drop it, but not on an album because it's not great, but we'll see how this actually comes out. Um, like I said, though, both these guys have had two of my favorite albums this month. And I will add, by the way, the Nas ranking is coming. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to edit. I have it all ready to go, though. Um, and I have some other priorities, so we're going to have to wait a little bit for that. But it will happen soon. Um, but I guess let's listen to One Mic, One Gun by Nas and 21 Savage. Let's go. Turn the legend, no such thing is relevant. They must have forgotten that I'm a new rapper, they got integrity. Oh, did they do this in response to him calling Nas irrelevant? Nas doing kind of the, like that kind of sporadic flow, I fuck with it. I feel like 21 could be doing a little better right now. I feel like he's kind of holding back. If I'm being honest, uh, he might do some Drake inflections here, but this would not have fit on her loss at all. So, it, it just hit me, I forgot that 21 Savage did that, um, thing where, what did he do? Uh, oh yeah, he, he, he didn't, he called out Nas's relevancy, and it wasn't like in a disrespectful way, but it kind of came off a little disrespectful, because the way he basically said it was like, um, oh, uh, people don't actually really care about Nas nowadays, uh, he just has his own little circle relevancy. He's not really all that relevant. And then people kind of were like, hey, why are you dogging on a legend, bro? And it, I mean, I get what 21 was saying. I, I don't really think it was the exact right way to say it, but I get what he was going at. Um, so I wonder if this song was, because he because Nas even says a line like, no back and forth. So it's almost like maybe he would like saw that. And then he was like, you know what? I want to do a song with 21 because I respect this guy. And also, I don't think we need to be feuding. So I think that might be kind of the reason why this song actually exists at all. Um, but it's a really cool collab. I was, yeah, I was thinking while listening to it, I was like, is this, could this have just been an unreleased Her Loss song? But it's definitely, if anything, an unreleased, it was definitely a King's Disease song because Hip Boy produced it. Um, but also, yeah, I don't think Drake would have fit on this very well. But Nas does... Nas does kind of go to 21 style a little bit. There's definitely a little bit of that trap-influenced flow that he's going with on the song. Um, not super heavily, but to a degree that, you know, it makes sense. And then you have, yeah, you have 21 Savage in there and then just doing his thing. Um, I think 21's flow is a little rough at first, but I think he caught up pretty quickly. Um, the beat is fantastic, though. I love that sample. Um, I think this is a great song. I'm a little shocked it didn't make it on... I mean, it looks like it was recorded after the album. I just don't know why they didn't wait till like Friday to drop it or something. I get, I get why maybe they didn't drop it last Friday because it might not have been done. But I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe they're just kind of like, you know what? Let's get it out. Who cares? Um, but yeah, great song. Uh, makes me wonder what next is up for both of these guys. I really hope Twenty One comes with some new music soon. Uh, but yeah, uh, happy to see this duo actually exist. Um, what do you guys think on one mic, one gun? Let me know in the comment section below. The next video will be the Nas ranking. That is my priority of making. That's the next video I really want to do. Um, then there's uh, Metro Boomin's album that comes out this uh, Friday, which I'm massively excited for that record. Um, I can't remember if there's anything next week I'm going to review, but I know uh, Absol's Herbert comes out on the 16th, which is one of my most hyped uh, listens. And we're going into December now. 
which by the way, Herbert, I've been waiting for for six years. So one of my most hyped records of the year without question. Um, uh, also, SZA might be dropping SOS. We'll see if she actually does. But if she does, that's another one of my most hyped projects of the year. Uh, so we have a really good December coming up. But end year lists are on their way. That's going to be at the very end of the month regardless. But um, I have written a top 100 best songs of the year. I will be editing it. Like, I'm probably going to add this song to it, honestly. Uh, I will be editing it with new stuff I listen to. There's a ton of albums I missed this year that I want to get to in the next couple weeks. Um, but, yeah, now that we go into December, we go into the end of the year. We're hitting all these big end year lists. There are four of them. There's... Uh, best or there's five videos actually there's honorable mentions of best album of the year top 25 best albums of the year uh top 100 best songs of the year then we go to uh top 10 worst albums of the year and top 10 worst songs of the year so uh we have a interesting end year coming up uh see you guys next time peace out bye